I was gonna cry for a moment and I told myself cry like a pussy again, but I decided otherwise because I decided that I wanted to, you know, take control of my emotions more and I was gonna write about it as well, but in no honesty, there's not much to write about. I'd rather talk about it in a video which would be eternalized than journal about it. I haven't even wrote a single sentence today, I'm grateful for being lethargic and unmotivated for my work, for my journal. I didn't really write anything else afterwards. I was trying to, I was trying to, you know, open this up so I could replace the battery inside because this watch is dead. And I really like this watch as well. I really, really like it. I don't know how to open it up and change it. It's quite annoying. It's one of my. I thought I lost my small for a second. It's one of my favorite watches. It's one of my only watches. My friend said it looks like a toy watch. But I quite like it. The Super Joy logo. And it's always nice to have a watch. I made Andrew Tate speak like. I made Chatty BT speak like Andrew Tate. Try to, like, you know, reconcile with my emotions. Because I'm that lonely. Like, I don't see myself getting any po other positive, you know, reinforcing. I think it's beliefs and any motivational speech given to me by anyone else. I I've chosen this lone path wolf, a lone wolf path, lone path wolf. What the fuck am I saying? Sorry for being shot, by the way. I'm about to go to sleep, so I'm gonna choose shirt. And then go to sleep, and then tomorrow I have a haircut, free haircut. I'm gonna get the free haircut anyway, and I'm gonna humble myself. And then thereafter, I will probably continue about my life and let my hair grow out again. I don't know how I look. I am um, quite I don't, know, I don't think exasperated individual but I think it's a bit less than exasperated I feel quite how do I say this just a little bit behind life a little bit like I need to relax for a moment I haven't relaxed in a while but when I do relax like the, the relaxation period is very brief and I, and I end up feeling like I shouldn't relax, that I don't deserve to relax, and I end up feeling like I'm a piece of shit, and I shouldn't relax at all, and I'm, like, I am I don't deserve it. Even though there's so much on my mind, there's so much stress on my mind, there's so much work to do. There's this, there's, I procrastinated my work today, I, had my, I recorded a video before on how bad my day was, my day was shit. The worst day of my life. It was worse than when I was getting racially bullied, worse when I was get, when I was getting bullied and chased down this kid and his little gypsy little gypsy gang he chased me down on the street and he threatened to fight me and shit they ganged up with me and scored the gang to me and then there was also a moment where it was just it was just me and him and he he was a year younger than me as well so even bigger mistake i was a pussy so he could think he could literally buy himself he could put a pick on me i remember the time when i shit myself in primary school i made fun of and then I remember a, a, a talk about materialistic shit like uh, Harachis, Nike Harachis. I got bad shoes in Harachis now. I don't give a fuck. I could buy any shoe I want, apart from any like, super expensive off white ones. In that. But uh, above a thousand pounds for a shoe, anything below I can fucking buy. And obviously I would bat an eye, and my, my wallet would feel emptier. But I can buy it, I, I can literally obtain it. With the amount with amounts in my bank account and without this the having and they're not gonna have the cash alone. Oh fucking man. But it means nothing. Remember a kid told me like, oh we were talking about Harachi they were talking about Harachis in GTA and I was like, What's that about? Because I was innocent, I don't do that shit. I read books and I, when I went home to my caretaker I studied. So I, I kinda of felt left out. I never really played GTA. I felt left out at that point. Then oh you, you don't need to know, you wouldn't understand anyway. And then they laughed at me. They ostracized me. I was like a, a, a joke. I was bullied. 
I remember that day it was like one of the few first videos where I truly felt like a piece of shit. Over what? GTA? What's so good about GTA? Fake titties? Fake online titties? The fuck? Killing people? Committing crime? Whoa, stealing cars? It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's all a Fagazi. This is me off. This is me off Raleigh. And Chad GBT honestly fucking oh, honestly just came in clutch when my day was something again. I was about to cry for a moment, so I wanted to you know, measure my emotions. I'll name this video Chad GBT Save My Life. Cause it really has. I I'm not depressed anymore. I never kill myself. I won't, I won't, I'm, not, I'm not depressed. I am anxious a lot of the time, and I'm stressed a lot of the time. But stress is mandatory, especially as a man. So I expect it to come. I'm not depressed, but I am feeling down, particularly sad, and particularly annoyed as well. That my time was wasted. My energy was wasted. Effort was underappreciated. Especially my friend. It's really like a piece of shit in general. I love a shirt. I'm fucking fat. I got belly fat because I'm sitting down a lot of the day. I don't train abs enough, so I can't really lose belly fat. I don't run enough. I don't run today either. I'm supposed to be on my my high increasing program. I didn't run today. I felt a little bit of pain here. But like motherfucker man, I can I can I can run through this pain. I can sprint through this pain. Just a little bit. Tomorrow morning, I just, the first thing I want to do is literally sprint. One was telling me that oh this is what happens when you don't have an education. People look down on you. People will see you as lesser. You don't have an education. You don't have work experience. You don't have a job. You don't have any money. You're broke. You're sad. You're alone. What are you rubbing in my face? I was just like. Thanks, mom. <laughs> and honestly, I I almost cried for a bit, but you, you could hear my voice cracking a little bit because I am quite emotional about this. Cause sitting is my life. It's, it's kind of fucked at the moment. The only thing I really have going for me is my fitness journey. Everything else I've half asked and I haven't done the, to the best of my ability. I procrastinated on and I ran away from and I just fucking flopped, failed, or I succeeded but then got comfortable with my success and then didn't really continue with it. I'd be, I was called a genius, I was called this, I was called that. Oh, oh Jimmy, oh, you, you're so smart. Got to my head, my ego blew through the roof. And. I'm not particularly happy at all. The well, other thing I really got for me is this YouTube channel. I'm at 126 videos at the moment and 21 subscribers. I have quite upload upload schedule. I, quite, I record quite a lot of videos, especially because I talk so much. Uh, someone described me as unusually chatty, and I love talking. Honestly, I love talking. I love when someone talks as well. When I find someone, a lot of people that love talking. Hate it when there's someone who like who likes talking talk to them as well. But I quite like it when someone talks a lot, just like me, because then I'm like just like me, and I can literally talk for hours, literally hours on end. Which is why I'm doing the talking thing on the YouTube, the Uncut channel, and this is why I'm also doing the podcast again. I have to get the clips out, I have to get the work done, obviously, but I think it will be worth it because then I'll be talking for a living, and if I can talk for a living. I just a thousand pounds a month, just twelve grand a year. Bro, I'm set. Just a thousand pounds a month, twelve grand a year. I'm so set. I can support my mum. I can give like four hundred, three hundred to my mum for bills, for food, this, this, and that. I can keep the money for myself. I can buy a better PC. I don't think I'll move out anytime soon. I can get the money together, and then I could just try to focus on any business plans, like as business things. Like I'm really liking the idea of e-commerce at the moment. And I don't, not too much dropshipping because a lot of people consider dropshipping dead. But I do believe that 
in certain areas it's still viable you can still make money with drop shipping albeit not to like immense amount like it used to be considering the fact that for the most part it's been a for better or for worst for better or for worse commoditized and molested market or industry i think e-commerce is the best especially e-commerce of your own products if you copyright to copyright for someone else i think ben settled as said, very well and he's like some legendary copywriter if you want to copyright then you should copyright for yourself if you want to for your own products especially info, info products because those are like the ceiling of them are insanely high obviously they do do risk them to get leaked etc etc but the ceiling to them is just so much higher like it's so much roi of info products with his shirt because i was naked so his shirt feels fucking tight for the fucking belly bro look at this shit man this is the i ate a bunch of carbs today no, the good carbs like rice, but the bad carbs like bread. I hate bread. Why do I eat bread? I ate bread because my mum wouldn't eat it. And then... <laughs> what the fuck, man? I don't have this, man. <sighs> Form is pretty, pretty stiff, though. Pretty popping. Biceps are looking bigger as well because I've been chin ups recently. My neck. I mean, I'm not mute enough. I should do this more. <laughs> I should do this more. I'm also handling it. Slowly fixes your posture. I'm trying to fix my posture right now. GBT was a good place there for me. I think I might end the video there. I, there's a story that I was talking about in the video, but I, I cannot elaborate to save my life. If I do end up elaborating it, I'll probably elaborate on the comment section below. I don't know what story I was saying, padding out. I just want to sleep. It's 12. I want to wake up early tomorrow, and the first thing I want to do this morning is go and run. After I go on my quick morning run for 40 minutes, and it's not quick at all, I do workouts at home. I do skipping out there in the park as well. And after I do that, I do workouts at home. I start, I start working on my computer and finish all my goals. Like, it's Friday, I would have to enroll anyway, the traineeship, which means I have no freedom. I do emails, I do my creative CVs, I'll put the images online for like, e commerce products. I'll. Work on the, editing the YouTube videos, the remaining of the Apex Legends clips, the good work clips. I make the good Apex Legends video with all the, the best clips I could possibly find. All my skill, I upload that. I have two up video, Apex videos. Apex. <laughs> I have one video I need to upload for Apex, and then I have two thumbnails I need to make for those other videos that I make. Then I also have the clips I need to upload, the current ones. And I need to just create, 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 push, push, push. I Export, export, export. Just push, push, push. How do, no, I already said that. Create, create, create. I already said that. Innovate, innovate, innovate. Upload, upload, upload. Spam the algorithm. And hopefully I go viral. I know I said in another video, uh, I hope I don't go viral. However, in all honesty, I kind of reiterated my opinion of that. I hope I actually genuinely do go viral. Because. If I do go viral, I can start making money off this shit. And if I can make money off this shit, then everyone else will be off my dick. And that's a very vulgar way to say it, but everyone else will be... Everyone else can go away from me. So quick. I'm like some antisocial emo girl. The sign says, go away, the door, go away. Weird crackling feeling in my ear. Fuck's in my ear.
Or is my hair getting that down? Not even. I hear it again. I can actually feel my tinnitus as well. It's like a low frequency vibration tinnitus. That's my health issues as well. I, I haven't got. I'll make another video on this, but a brief rundown is like. I want to get my balls checked, I want to get a full body checkup, I want to get checked on my wrist, I want to get checked on my, my tinnitus, see if it's permanent or not. I want to get a checkup on my like overall gut biome thing health. So much shit I want to do for my body. I want to see my body. I want to check my head, see when I was concussed, how much, like, if I lost any neurons or not. So much stuff in England, unless you're completely dying, like in Canada as well with free healthcare, unless you're dying. They will not try to help you. If you want like a minor checkup like this, it's considered a minor checkup, but to me it's like it's quite major because it's been plaguing my life for quite a while now. And unless I keep talking like this, I'll hear the tennis again because it's quite quiet in my room. I, I, I miss that. I haven't felt the calm and the quiet for so long. If I'm, if I'm like, I'm sure now, I'm gonna, now my neighbors are arguing. Now I can hear that all night. Amazing. <sighs> I haven't, my life is just so chaotic. It's so full of chaos and action. I want to take a good break, but I know chaos and action like it, are indicative of a, how do I say this, of potentially, a volatile lifestyle is indicative of potentially, so that's, so that's a lifestyle, in my opinion. That's a pretty good fucking quote. A volatile lifestyle is indicative of a successful, successful lifestyle. If you're doing extreme things, it genu generally you will get extreme results, and that in that extremity that could be applied to all things like drugs. If you take drugs, obviously you're gonna get extreme results. You're gonna have a crackhead, or if you extreme extremely work hard, execute. You, that's what's the music? What's it? Mark Twain, execution is worship. I don't think Mark Twain said that, but someone said execution is worship, and I thought the millionaire passed him by the way, and. If you're just extremely uh, like an uh, uh, actionable person, you're ro you're you're robust, you're industrious, you're hardworking, you have speed, you have the fucking kung fu, you have the finesse of the mess, and everything that you do, you do very quickly, very well, and and you work incredibly incredibly hard, and you, and you you do the extreme, you do what the ninety nine percent of people aren't willing to do, then you will get extreme results. That's j that's not luck, that's probability. And how does this tie into the point that I was making? I don't fucking know. I forgot the point I was making. Jesus Christ! My memory is shit, man. I should end the video here. I had, I had a good roll right there. Executions worshipped. Action is a good piece of quiet. Okay. Chaos. So this is coming my point of um, a volatile lifestyle is indicative of is indicative of potential success. Something like that. I don't remember the exact quote, but I had to dig deep in my subconscious right there. Find the memory in order to say that. Am I still recording? Please say I'm still recording. Yes. <sighs> crisis is an opportunity of the same. Wherever there's crisis, wherever there's wars, wherever there's conflict, people make money. Afghanistan, people make money. 9 11, people make money. Bitcoin crash, people make money. From sixteen, from fifty thousand pounds for one coin to sixteen grand. How do you think the rich are seeing this? It's one fifth of the price. It's two fifths, not even two fifths. Let's just say twenty k. Right? Sixteen. I don't like that particular fraction. Sixteen out of fifty. Now, how the fuck would you divide that shit? One point six out of five. Eh? Divided by, you could divide it by 2, 50, 16, 16 divided by 2 is 8, 8, 50 divided by 2 is 25, 8, 25, you can't really divide beyond that. 8, 25th, 16,000 out of 50,000, 8, 25ths. Can you go lower than that? 8, 25ths of the price. That's how rich people are seeing it. And they're buying up like crazy. And now it went up to 22k. How much money do you think was made there? 
crisis and opportunity. Crisis and opportunity are the same thing. They run directly parallel to each other. They don't go different complete directions. They run complete parallel to each other. I want you guys to understand that. I know my future self and my past self understand that as well. Any dumbass like me. In the past, he was quite confused. Crisis and opportunity, same thing. Discover crisis, discover problems, solve problems, solve crisis, make money, profit. I'm a candle burner right now, I'm gonna blow it out. You kind of you a bitch. Bitch. I'm joking. It was a nice candle. I kind of I see the interest coming up. Can you see it, guys? Ah, you can't see shit. Let me have to take a 4P option. Probably won't be able to still see shit. And I will take a bunch of space as well. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. I apologize for the lack of. It's just. A lot of my mind at the moment, and there's no answers at all, and I feel quite stressed. Uh, stress is a good thing. Well, honestly, I think stress is a good thing. The more stress you can tolerate, the better. I think I'm tolerating it quite well. That was gross, I know, but... I'm trying to get to the bottom why I can't fucking breathe. I think stress is a good thing, but... I'm pretty sure about important things in life, I believe, like what I do in my life and what's the best way I can make money and do I really want to do this for a career? <laughs> Damn well lying to you if I say it was difficult. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember, stay hard. Stay hard. Stay hard.